ko tahi te kōhao o te ngira e kuhuna ai te miro mā te miro pango te miro whero not far from where i stand is the orewa one of new zealand's many rivers and all rivers lead to the moana nui akiwa in the pacific islands the rivers there also lead to the alai moana which is what we call the moana nui akiwa in this way the eye of the needle is that single point through which all our cultures from the pacific have navigated through and have traveled through to find their home here in aotearoa new zealand there are three cases that have been the catalyst for me to look into this particular area of the law more closely the first case is the peter ellis uh, matter in the Supreme Court of New Zealand where they considered tikanga Māori as a way in which to continue his appeal more than a year after he had passed away. The second is in the Torres Strait Islands. One of their customs around adoption has successfully become the subject of a legislation in the Queensland Parliament which is a first for this Parliament and in fact for Australia. The third is the sad case of where a man was killed by his Samoan partner in Australia. Whereas here, across the ditch in New Zealand, her family carried out the customary practice of Ifonga to seek a formal apology and also to find reconciliation between her family and his because of the tragedy that had, cons that had occurred. My question is, how does custom fit into the law? How does it sit in the law, especially in a multicultural society like New Zealand? Te Tūriti o Waitangi formed the foundation of the partnership between Māori and Pākehā. However, the New Zealand citizen is not only Māori and not only Pākehā. In fact, many of us whakapapa to the Alai Moana, much like the rivers of New Zealand. So my question is, how should this fit properly, appropriately in the eye of the single needle? Ko te miro ma ko Māori, ko te miro pango ko Pākehā, ko te miro whero ko au,